Okay, so we are back with another <laughs> Sunday night ASMR video here at the Bit Block. Um, if this is your first time watching, these are maybe kind of different types of videos that you would see for a video game site. Um, they're meant to be very slow paced and relaxing. And each week we look at some kind of Nintendo literature, guidebooks and art books and stuff. Um, and yeah, I mean, these videos are really meant to be watched when you want to relax. Um, so hopefully you are doing that because <laughs> we are about to check out some more Animal Crossing stuff. Eventually we are going to look at other things. I mean, I have done Animal Crossing pretty much every week, but we'll change it up next week. I promise. <laughs> but, um, this time we are looking at this guidebook, which is actually entirely QR codes. It's all about QR codes and patterns and stuff. And then in this, I actually just got this today. There are um, Animal Crossing New Leaf magnets. So I think let's open this up first. So move that aside. Um, and I actually think these are going to be somewhat lackluster. So <laughs> let's see. this is. I think this is just... Oh, hold on a second. I think this might have... Yeah, actually, I guess I can read this. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure there wasn't anything personal about the person. So this is a note from the seller, and it says, Hello, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you like this special magnets. I play Animal Crossing. I had to buy these for myself, too. They are so cute. Enjoy. And her name is Chiaki, I believe. But she wrote it on this amazing Chip and Dale stationery. And as a huge fan of Disney, I think I might like this little note from the cute Japanese girl more than the magnets. <laughs> so we'll look at that. Um, a lot of you guys are always asking me where I get this stuff, so eBay. And in fact, here is the person's account where you can buy stuff as well. And I'm sure they have more of this Animal Crossing stuff. So here they are. Um, yeah, this is just like a magnet set. And I think that they're like made of cardboard and you cut them out with scissors. But I don't know. So let's open it up and see. Oh no, we have to tear Captain and Mystery Seti's face off in order to get to him. Not sure what this is. Maybe the magnets. <laughs> oh, I guess they're kind of higher quality than I thought they would be. I guess it it's hard to explain it, but they're not made of cardboard. They're like of a rubbery sort of material. be difficult to open this. Okay. So 
So yeah, I think you do have to, I think you cut them. Yeah, you have to cut it yourself. And they are little magnets for like your refrigerator. There is Cyrus, uh, Pelly, Tom Nook, Joan, Brewster, and I'm so ashamed I forget her name. I keep thinking it's Isabel, but obviously Isabel's the, the assistant. Why can I never remember her name? Her Japanese name is Lisa. I don't know. I know. I, I know. I know what her name is, but I can't remember. Please do not leave a comment telling me. <laughs> and this is, for some reason, a piece of candy. I'm gonna taste it, and I will tell you what flavor it is. <laughs> it is apple. It's just like a basic candy. It's nothing too sp amazing. Mm. So there you go. Animal Crossing New Leaf Magnets and a piece of apple candy. And a very adorable note. Okay. I'm going to cut those later and put them on the mini fridge in the Biplap's office. So this is a very thick book. We are really going to have to skim through this. Um, it's funny though because I have looked at it a little bit and it's all girl clothing. <laughs> it's hilarious that I opened it up to that page because it literally says girl on her shirt. So yeah, that's a little disappointing. I kind of thought it was like for boys and girls, but it's all girls clothes. And look how many pages there are. Um, so it's a girls design book with QR codes, um, which is really cool if you're a girl, but I'm a, I'm a boy. I'm not a girl, I'm a boy. So I don't know how much use I'll get out of this. It also opens up like a Japanese book, which is interesting because, like, other guidebooks I've seen haven't. For example, Mario Party, Japanese guidebook. And it opens opens up like a an American book would. Okay, let's start. <laughs> it's pretty cute. I really like all the little characters there. Glossary. I think maybe there will at least be some cool flag patterns or something. <laughs> so, a little anime girl there. So I think what ha like I th I've looked through the book and I think um, one of the things I've been able to conclude is that there must have been some kind of contest or something that invited girls to send in pictures of Animal Crossing characters with clothing that they designed. So some, some girl sent in this picture, and then the publisher of the book actually made a QR code for them. And they do that a lot through the whole book. slippers so they also show you like what um, shoes and stuff you could wear with it like there's a, a pink cosmos in her hair <laughs> I mean it's a really cute interesting idea for a book it's just a shame that it's not more you know boyish <laughs> Ooh, that's kind of a cool one. That's a firework dress. <laughs> yes, I just said a firework dress is cool. Deal with it. Mm -hmm. Bit 
of a strange one there with crosses on it. I think I'm just going to go through them until I find one that really piques my interest. Okay, one has piqued my interest. <laughs> it's got fruit on it. Oh, that's a shame. I would have loved a boy's shirt with that fruit on it. Um, I don't think these QR codes will be able to be scanned in the video. Obviously, they're down here. One, two, three, four. If you can scan them in the video, that's great. If you can't, go to my personal Tumblr, and I'll put a few of them up for you. Oh, wow. That's like a music music dress. It's got like piano keys and notes. <laughs> it's kind of a cool look. They have a beak on and everything. <laughs> Look at the little artwork somebody drew. Ooh, sailor girl. I really like how it shows you the actual pattern. The sleeves, back and front. Lots of clovers. <laughs> that one's got a very like rainbow bright look to it. I think what's been interesting me most is the little, the little drawing that the girl sent in. That's the first thing that I've been looking at when I turn the page. It's kind of funny to see how like <laughs> they actually did do their drawing. Oh, they put a little cattail on this one on the back. Oh wow, that's a pretty fancy one. Like very circusy. <laughs> this one has a naked sleeve showing a little shoulder. It's pretty fancy. Wait a minute. Oh, that's pretty good. The little bow on the shoulder is in the pattern. <laughs> it's very patriotic. Oh, honeybee. She's a honeybee. <laughs> wow. I think that one might be my favorite so far. It says, I love honey on the skirt. I hope you guys can scan these from the video. I think if you watch these in 10, watch this video in 1080p and maybe it'll work. I'm not sure. I've also probably been blocking the first QR code with my finger. <laughs> Let me move that upwards. It's another music-related one. It's a 
like a piano dress. That one might work a little bit better, actually. Oh, wow, the girl's sketch is pretty good. There we go. It's kind of hard for you guys to see that because it's right in the crease. <laughs> a rabbit. Let me skip a few of these. This is my receipt. Hmm? I don't know. I think so. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Whoa. Some fancy headgear. Wow, where in the world do you find purple wigs like that? Oh man, that drawing is kind of scary. It's mainly the eyes that scare me. So, I can't get used to using a book backwards like this. <laughs> Not really sure what category we're in now because I guess these are just ones that the publisher made. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I kind of like. I kind of like that idea. The way they have the t shirt. Um knotted up in the front in the design. It's kind of clever. So now we're getting into just simple patterns that could be used for your flag or wallpaper. So maybe a few of these could be useful to me. Oh wow. They completely flooded the t underneath the town tree with the head of this girl. That's not something you should do. Hearts. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> a flag that has cake on it. It's a pretty good flag. Hmm, <laughs> little Japanese figures. Ooh, a cherry flag. Hey, it looks like it's got a ladybug eating a piece of an orange. Or maybe I'm just crazy. That's a pretty weirdly neat design there. I like this one. Oh, that's a very nice bamboo flag on the right. So yeah, it's just really cool. I mean, if I were a girl, I would love this book. But no matter how hard I try, I'm still a boy. I like that. So, so I guess some of these patterns are kind of cool for a boy. Just none of the clothing. Oh. Dripping with honey, and there's a bumblebee. 
there's a honey bee on it. <laughs> That's fantastic. This one has snails climbing up that flag. Oh, I like this one. It's a, a fish flag. <laughs> Those are put out in Japan in the spring. Some basic designs. Kind of cool, kind of simple. Probably stuff a lot of people could do on their own. Oh, on the right there is a, a gold... Oh, that would be a really cool wallpaper. I'm going to use that as my wallpaper. It's like goldfish and a little bit of seaweed. Ooh, I like this a little tropical Hawaiian leaf pattern. So with this pattern, they suggest you put it on one of the tables and customize it. Because it's like, this is a cheeseburger, or maybe a Salisbury steak or something, meatloaf, the donuts. And so when you customize a table to have that on there, it looks like you have a plate of donuts. Oh, cookies, eggs, and bacon. <laughs> These are some windows that you could use. See, you make little fake windows by putting them on the wall. I like that. Some more windows. Oh, look at this dude. He's pretty confident. So now we have some photo op displays. <laughs> Girls. I think these are mascots or something to this book series. Could be wrong. Some more girls. <laughs> oh yes. So these are two that I would definitely put up in my town. They could be considered boyish. The frog. <laughs> and then the hot air balloon. Your face would be the hot air balloon. Oh, a little droplet of water. I've always wanted to be a droplet of water. This is a star, a starfish in the ocean. There's little angelfish and stuff swimming around you. <laughs> the sun shining down on dandelions. This is a Japanese lantern over a spa. <laughs> I can honestly say I've never wanted to be that. poodle, a cat, a finger. Okay, so it looks like the rest of the book is going to be town tunes. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I don't know what they are, but you could copy them and see for yourself. They might just be little bits of music that sound cool, or they might be related to something. I feel like they probably can't use copyrighted music or even Nintendo music. Maybe they can. I don't know. <laughs> A little comic about everybody is wearing her shark shirt. Oh, okay. She's officially my favorite. Why wasn't there a shark shirt in the actual book? <laughs> All right. Well, that was pretty fun. I mean, I gotta be honest, I'm a bit disappointed that it is so girl heavy. <laughs> I mean, again, out of all these pages, no boys clothes. But it's a really cool idea for a book. I think it's kind of interesting how they even had town tunes.
So I think this is going to go on a shelf and I'll never think about it again. Oh, I did want to get a few of those QR codes. And that's me biting the apple candy that randomly came with these. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed sitting back and checking these things out with me. Um, you can try to get them yourself on eBay. But um, yeah, so be sure to favorite this video so you can watch it anytime you want to relax. And uh, I will see you guys next week with another ASMR video. We will probably check out something non-Animal Crossing related. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you guys later.